What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with a daily message for you guys today. So, I know since I've been off to work, guys, I haven't been doing our daily morning coffee and chit-chat message. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me just start doing them a whole spread for the day of. Or, I mean, we halfway through today, so we're we going to just make this for today and tomorrow. For the collective. All right, spirit. Okay, so also this will not resonate with, with everybody. I set my intentions for the message to come out for the person that needs to hear it the most. So that's exactly who will receive a message from this. Okay. And energy is fluid, so it's time. This is a timeless reading. But hopefully, uh, like I said, it's in the vicinity of today. If not, sometime within this week. But just keep that in mind that some of us are ahead, behind, or right on time of the timeline, okay? All right, so, Spirit, what messages do the collective need to hear at this time? Oops, sorry. I gotta adjust the light because it just seemed like the light been off lately. Okay, so what does the collective need to hear? What messages do the collective need to hear, Spirit? So, look, number one, four of wands to me is deep soulmate connection vibes. Not only that is a stability, but it's indicative. Somebody could be actually uh, buying, purchasing a home with their love. One here. I see just building a future kind of just in bliss or that's coming up for you guys soon. Daily messages for the collective spirit. Oh, okay. So you you are coming into stability after um, a betrayal, after an ending, after no movement, feeling blocked, even probably possibly having blocked communication with a certain person. But guess what? It seems like not being in this person's life served you some good because. Now you're no longer in the energy of feeling betrayed or betrayals or feeling blocked. You know, maybe you feel like your connection was blocked. Maybe you feel like your relationship blocked a lot of things you needed to do. But it seems like you really made up your mind. You're pretty resolute about who you eclipsed out of your life. Okay, let's get some more messages for the collective here, Spirit. What messages do the collective need to hear at this time, Spirit? Mm. What messages do the collective need to hear, Spirit? Ooh, okay, so the lovers and the lovers and the queen of swords here so yes it's looking like you are moving into a new and look hold on honey and i don't be trying to use the tf word but this is complete twin flame vibes the four of wands and the lovers here the lovers is normally that twin energy as well as it is gemini energy so um i feel like you didn't know what you was getting yourself into to with this person like you know, maybe you guys meet by chance, start a friendship, and don't know how far it's going to go. You have no idea you're going to be, like, have this deep, peaceful, loving, transformative, growth-provoking connection with somebody. Because I'm seeing a lot of transformation here. A lot of in, um, indications of, like, a peaceful connection, something that's grounded something where you guys have a mental connection or a psychic connection of some sort it's kind of like you guys just mirror each other yeah i feel like you letting go you letting go of the past i feel like you might have been in clean going energy in the past but now you just like you know what it's the reason why whatever in the past didn't work out okay <clears throat> let's see four cups in reverse Oh, I see here. 
this is a situation that's working out after a rejection, after feeling a loss. Wow, there's that that petty energy, that five energy. So two fives here, back to back, the five of cups, which indicates that somebody just took an emotional loss or had in the past took an emotional loss. And the five of pentacles in reverse, which indicates somebody coming back in from out the cold. And it could be with this king of pentacles energy here. And the king of pentacles is typically Capricorn Taurus Virgo. If not, they just a reliable partner. Somebody that exhibits earth energy you know they just very grounded they about their money they're a provider they're a protector um they have a ve very healing or a healing presence a commanding presence as well you know so and honestly i feel like you've been ex ex I feel like you didn't even see this coming. I wanted to say you was being extra impatient about this change. You didn't even think that it was going to happen. But here they are coming up as the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups here. In the past, I sense it was some insincerity, possibly with this person. But I feel like they came back and they made things right. So it wasn't you. Well, you know what? Let me not take back because honestly, that story probably surfaced for a reason. So for some people, you moved away from somebody to somebody that you consider better suited for you. And for some of you guys, you just spent time apart. You guys probably had each other blocked, needed time to heal, didn't know what was going to happen after that. And you guys released all the negative energy from the past. Um, release this petty energy, this feeling of loss, this feeling of insincerity, this feeling of boredom, boredom, complacency, and rejection. You know, and then it's like so many blockages coming up here. I wouldn't even, I would not be surprised if somebody actually purposely did this to your relationship. And just as I was saying that the concern card came out, so that might be a concern of yours that somebody actually used baneful magic to break you up from your relationship. Why is the Eight of Wands here in reverse for that blockage? Yes, <laughs> somebody wanted this to happen. Somebody wanted to block your relationship, wanted a breakup to happen. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, shoot. Not only was they blocking your success with love, they was blocking your success with money. So you got some type of hit and energy, some type of jealous person that's kind of on the outside looking in or on the inside looking out at your relationship, you know? And they could be jealous. They hide behind the scenes. This is definitely a person that um, casts stones and then hides their hands. I see here. Okay, why is the lover's card here? I'm trying to figure out, is this somebody from the past or what? It definitely could have been. It, it could have been somebody that got left behind. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Courtship and the whip in reverse here. So, yes, it's, I don't know. But whatever uh, negative intent or actual magic was placed over this relationship, it was definitely intentional, number one. <laughs> and number two, it was somebody that was extremely jealous of your relationship. Watching you, you probably completely oblivious to this person being as jealous. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this person wanted you to get out the house and move on. Move out and move on. And you could be at a distance from this love now, I see. Possibly. Let me see if I got more than one card of distance. Yeah, look at this. You know what? This was a person. The, the, the female energy, the feminine energy is a person from this person's past so an ex of the person that you used to deal with and i do feel like the identity of this person is going to come out yes oh my gosh the identity of this person is going to come out but their whole intention was to basically either steal your mate steal your mate steal your ideas i just got a i just got a feeling that like hmm this person either wants somebody that you want. They could have been somebody from their past, like a past crush, a past love. 
an ex-wife, a baby mom. But yeah, somebody is trying to get you or your partner off their true path here and cause all of this unhealthy relationship, like all of this like disharmony in your relationship that's making it basically toxic so that you guys can in turn break up and like move away, you know? And I feel like it worked because we got the ring here in reverse. Why is the five of cups here, spirit? Why is the five of cups here, spirit, for the collective? Ooh. Mm. <clears throat> this just, I feel like you will sit here in your feelings, feeling this emotional loss and not knowing what happened. Because with all of this energy, like there was a sense of a happy home at one point. This was out in the reverse. So that just, that's indicative of me that whatever intentions or, um, like I said, if it was magic intentions or if this person was just good at the power of suggestion and lured your person out of a relationship, it was because they were jealous. They were watching, lurking, and they didn't want to see this person happy with anybody else. Yeah, it's a sense of protection here. Why am I feeling like this could even be a parental figure? Because this is mama bear protection to me. So what I'm getting here is either somebody takes care of their mom and their mom do, like doesn't want them to be in a serious situation with anybody else because that will hinder them being able to take care of them is what I'm getting. Yeah. They know they can get more out of their son or daughter. It just depends on who you're dealing with. If you weren't in the picture, why is the King of Pentacles here? Maybe they jealous of how much they do for you or something. Why is the King of Pentacles here, Spirit? For the collective energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here for the collective spirit? Hmm. Let's see. Journey, yes. Took this king right off his journey. I feel as though with the path in reverse and the journey in reverse, this took two people off course. Whatever happened, it was definitely against the universe's wishes is what I'm feeling here, honestly. Because I feel like if it was the right path for these people to leave each other, then the journey and the pathway would have been up in the upright. Yeah. Somebody feels bound to, yes, look at this. Let's see, what was that? Somebody feels bound to the opinion of others. Because I feel like it's not just a maternal figure. It's a father figure, too. Or it could just be a father figure because that polar bear, even though that's mama bear protection, it could just be a parent, period. But yes, this is definitely them feeling like, no, this is not for you. We don't want you with this girl. It could be both your parents, honestly. Maybe they think you were a gold digger. Or if, if, it's, you know, if it's your partner whose parents are always trying to talk down on your relationship, then maybe they think you a gold digger. Maybe they think you're using their son for money. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse here, Spirit? This was hella specific. I wonder how many people this is happening to. Oh, okay. So, okay. So out of a broken home, I definitely see peace coming. So this could be the return of this relationship, or this can be the fact that this person just listens to everything that their parents or their family says. Look at this, the family room. To me, the family room just, it just depends on what it is uh, surrounded by. But since this is like, this seeming like either a social circle or an actual family doesn't accept somebody that you love, this seems to me like more like negative gossip, you know, like people just having a round table discussion about your relationship, feeling like they a snake. 
and like they just attention whore or hmm they don't they lack direction they feel like again like i said you with them for money this is that family in reverse again so here you guys broken up feeling lost without each other you know when i feel essentially that it was meant for this thing to come together but you know people interfere too much so let me get some oracle advice for the collective spirit I get the daily message for the collective spirit. So now you guys are coming back together. And this is like, wow. This is so like Romeo Juliet-esque. If that makes sense. What oracle advice do you have for the collective spirit? As it pertains to this reading. enlightenment going forward look at this you can't stop something that's meant to be and look at all of this growth that's attached yeah it's definitely um light at the end of the tunnel for you guys and i just see green pastures sunlight enlightenment you know so if it wasn't anything else that was meant to happen i definitely feel like both of you guys grew from the situation and I feel like that growth was actually essential in order for you guys to appreciate each other on a level in which you are able to appreciate each other now with the fulfillment card. It's like you you guys are finally seeing the fruits of your labor when it comes to your relationship. Maybe it was stagnated because of everybody else wishes and, you know, wishes when it come down to your relationship. But spirit is asking you to release whatever happened in the past. You know, whatever happened, whether it was an actual romantic partner or family or a social circle that came between you guys, like, don't live in the past. Don't bring that up. You know, don't perpetuate negative energy within your relationship. Just let this be like springtime where in the fall, the, the leaves have fallen and now they are growing back fresh. So it's no memories of those dead leaves. They've been raked up putting in a bag, set at the curb, compressed, illumination and enlightenment. I feel like you two actually had to separate to heal from a spiritual awakening, go through a spiritual awakening, and last but not least, forgiveness. And this is so real because it's going to take real forgiveness here. Like, it's no telling, especially if this was a romantic partner, you know, a third party that broke you guys up as opposed to like parents and family, but I'm getting strong family here. Although it could have been, you know, family members as well as an outside lover. Simplicity. <laughs> okay. So I do feel like in you guys time apart and thriving. Simplicity and thriving. So I do feel like in you guys time apart and you all's actual separation. Um, You guys... The things, the simplest things, the most smallest things that you guys admired each, about each other was illuminated. Maybe you didn't see that when you were right there in their face. Like sometimes when you write in somebody's face, you're too close to see something that is true value. Sometimes you have to take a step back and look at it from an angle that you weren't seeing it before. You know, so that you can actually appreciate the, you know, how precious and how valuable something is. So I feel like this is that. Like you you guys enjoying simple bliss. I feel like you guys both received the message that this is actually meant to come back together. And from there, you guys will be thriving. With both of you being more confident about the connection, it won't be as easy to come between you guys again. <clears throat> so good luck to the collective. I really hope you guys enjoyed that reading. If you're going through that right now and you're feeling down in the dumps without your babe, just know that they coming back for you and they coming back restored. And you will be too, okay? So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.